What's going on guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting. Welcome to this new review video. Today we're out here at the range in beautiful Utah. It's a wonderful day. It's finally starting to warm up a little bit. Uh, so we came out here to film some B-roll and we thought why not just film the talking portion on the spot. So today we're talking about the Black Arch Holsters. This is their Protos M with their Dry Matrix Backer. Now if you saw my video on the top three best concealed carry holsters, I had an honorable mention in that video and that went out to this holster's predecessor. It was the Black Arch Holster Protos M, their first generation, and this is their newer generation of it. And uh, when I originally reviewed that Protos M like, I don't know, four or five years ago, I said it was the most comfortable holster I'd ever worn up to that point. And I have to say, this is even more comfortable than that. So it's insane, man. The backing right here, they've got a leather backer, but then on the inside of the leather backer, they've got what they're calling their dry matrix. It's like a perforated kind of neoprene-y, uh, I don't know, it's cushiony though, I'll tell you that much. So you can see it's also sewn kind of in the middle there. I kind of like that. It feels like three little pillows when it's wrapping around your body, it feels comfortable. And then even on the outside of that, you know, we've got some really soft kind of like suede leather. Um, so super, super comfortable on the skin. On the front here, you can see that mesh is uh, OD green, and then we've got black leather surrounding that. We've got the holster shell right here. This one specifically is done up in a hex cam specter, uh, and I think it's just a really, really clean look. You can choose so many different colors and color combinations for these holsters. Uh, it's kind of for your own thing, right? Like, I mean, it's concealed. No one else is really gonna see it. But for me, I like playing around with them. I think it's, I think it's fun. I think it, uh, it gives me an extra reason to wanna wear this one some certain days. So I like custom customizing it. I think that it looks really, really cool, really high end, a uh, bunch of different options you can choose from. So let's talk about the holster itself, like how it actually works though. So this is their three quarter hybrid shell. You can see it attaches to the backer with three screws right there. And then there's a retention screw right here that also attaches to that backer. So you can adjust your retention. Uh, you can also adjust your cant on the side here with the two loops, you know, whichever angle you want this sitting on your body. I personally love the size of this holster. So this is a dual clip holster and a lot of times most dual clip holsters kind of go out a little bit wider. They're generally a little bit bigger. I think this is a really, really nice size. It's one of the smallest dual clips I've seen. And uh, I like to wear on my holster about four or five o'clock on my back. So I like the dual clip setup, but the fact that it's not quite as big means it's less intrusive, it's less bulky, it prints less. So overall, I'm a huge fan of the size of this thing. Now the shell itself is flared towards the muzzle here to give you a, you know, a safe and a clean draw every time. But they're saying that the three quarter shell provides consistent retention as well, a consistent draw. The fact that the retention is set in the shell right here is really nice because you can switch out these backers for different colors and designs if you want. Uh, so you can kind of mix it up, I think that's cool, but you'll always have the exact same retention retention because the, the retention set in the shell. So I think that's a really nice addition. And then the draw itself is of course extremely clean. I don't know that I really have anything bad to say about this holster. Uh, I love the, the size, how it's a smaller version of a dual clip holster. It's extremely comfortable with that dry matrix backer. The retention's super clean. It looks really high end. It does everything a holster should do. I guess if I had any constructive criticism coming from Alien Gear, you know I'm a big Alien Gear fanboy. I, I like the fact that you, I don't have to have extra tools in order to change the clips in order to change my retention. This one, you just need a Phillips head screwdriver, so it's not a big deal. But if I had to say anything, that would be my one want out of this holster. But generally, this has been my primary carry holster for the past two or three weeks, and I've been extremely, extremely happy with it. So price-wise, you're looking at about 90 bucks for this holster. Uh, I mean, that's expensive, but I think it's probably what you're paying for a good quality hybrid holster out there these days, uh, especially with the things like the dry matrix backer. And then uh, you can adjust adjust your color and design. So you can change the mesh, you can change the, the holster shell. Uh, they have like four presets, I wanna say, for no extra. Uh, if you wanna customize it with your own kind of colors and, and shell combinations, they have a bunch of different options available. That costs a little bit extra, like 15 bucks or something. I think all in, you're probably at about 110 bucks for a, for a holster like this, but that's about as high as it goes. Extremely high-end holster, extremely comfortable, extremely clean draw, durable. It's a good holster, man. So that is my review on the Protos M holster made by Black Arch Holsters. I'm a huge fan. Uh, this isn't a sponsored video. They didn't pay me to make this video. They did send this holster out to me for review, uh, but they said, you know, just be honest. So they're not paying me anything like that. I don't get anything for affiliate or anything like that. Their information is down in the video description below. If you want to check out uh, them, if you want to order one of these holsters for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You guys know all that good stuff. And uh, that's all I've got for you today. We'll see you next time on Greenlight Shooting.